Hello, French Road families. Happy Friday. It's Friday, March 8th today. I hope you had a wonderful week. We have some awesome, amazing fourth graders here from Ms. Leckenby's class who are going to talk a little bit about Brighton Believes Day and what we did here at Fraz on Wednesday this week. We have a few announcements. Last night was our ice cream social for third grade, an exciting one that it was, with a fire drill right at the end. So thanks for being here. Sorry for the chaotic ending, and we look forward to seeing you all around the building again soon. If you're coming next week for the fourth grade, we are hoping that doesn't happen again. So March 14th at 6 p.m., our classrooms are open, but at 5.30, you could come for ice cream. Ice cream will be served the whole time from 5.30 to 7 p.m. There is a link in my newsletter today to order a yearbook. We'll leave that open for a while, but we created our first yearbook last year. It was pretty awesome. Lots of families enjoyed having that memory to keep for their kids. If you're interested, click on the link in my newsletter. And also, your kids, if they're interested in being part of the yearbook cover contest, will have to submit their cover by next Friday, March 15th. Movie night is rescheduled to March 21st which is a Thursday, and we actually don't have school the next day on Friday, March 22nd. It's a recess day, so it's kind of like a pseudo Friday. So now we're going to move on to our kids here from Ms. Luckenby's class, and they're going to talk a little bit about Brighton Believes Day. And if you're interested in seeing the assembly that we had, which Bria will talk about in a minute, um, it's on the Brighton YouTube channel. So check it out if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what your kids talked about that day. So first I'll have them start by introducing themselves to all of you. My name is Eva. I'm Jack. I'm Owen. I'm Lily. I'm Bria. All right. So, Bria, tell us about Brighton Believes Day. Um, Brighton Believes Day, we painted kindness rocks and we had a bunch of virtual assemblies. And what did we talk about in the assembly? Um, we talked about what we could write on the rocks and we talked about how they could brighten someone else's day in their achievement. And what does it mean that there's a chain reaction? Does anyone want to chime in? Um, so it means like, so you, someone finds the rock and then it automatically goes on to the next person. Like they do something kind for the other person and they, do, and they keep going. Awesome. So we read together in classrooms a book called Rock on Kindness where we learned about passing around kindness rocks. We watched a video about where Kindness Rock started. And then the kids in their classrooms looked at lots of different types of Kindness Rocks and talked about what you could write on them. So tell us what you guys wrote on your rocks. Imagine. Imagine. I wrote happy birthday because it was on my dad's birthday. <laughs> Be happy. Don't give up. Don't give up. Shine bright like a diamond. Love it. Those are awesome messages. So we hope that people will find those rocks and that'll brighten their day and they'll be able to pass that on to someone else. So thanks for being here today. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.